Hey YouTube, welcome back to my silver channel. This is MN Silver slash Aquarium Keeping. Ooh, yeah. All right, guys. We're gonna do something different that I never done before. I actually received my order from H2O Plants from this great guy named uh, Justin. And I was looking in the instructions and we're gonna give this a, a try. So we are, these are the steps. I'll let you guys take a look. There are seven steps to clean your plants. We, I already rinsed my plants. They are right, right on the table. We're gonna use a little bleach. We're gonna, we're gonna start with the bleach. Regular house bleach. Of course, I'm going to use Prime to remove the bleach from the water. And I'm actually going to take it a step further and I'm going to use Paragar. Paragar is great. It's for fungal, bacteria and, you know, more para paradise. Whatever. All right, let's continue. All right, guys. So I actually have a helper helping out today. Say hi. hi. All right. She's going to be helping me out because... Remember guys, always protect your hands because we're going to be using bleach, all right? Cool. So I won't be able to use the 20, we're going to use 20 parts of water and one part of regular bleach. But I use 10 cups of water and half a cup of bleach. So I'm pretty close following the, the instructions. All right, let's get this started. Let's add the bleach. There we go. Ooh, this smells kind of funny. You're gonna mix it. And my system is gonna start the clock, right? Yep. Once I put the plants inside, I'm gonna need your help to start the clock. And we have to bury the entire plant. I know. For two minutes. Once I put all of them inside, these are, guys, these are Anubius plants. So they're pretty hardy. Okay. My assistant, can you please start the clock for two minutes? Thank you. Let it run for two minutes. Guys, this is the best way to protect your aquarium, to protect your plants from algae, from snails, and other bacteria that your tank might receive when you put new plants to your aquarium and guys remember it's my first time doing this I'm not an expert so you know we all learning here two minutes let's wait and guys remember always protect your hands this is bleach Clorox it can burn your skin and who knows what else can happen <laughs> My assistant, are we down to one minute? Yes, we're there. All right. Let's give it more time. Can you show the time? Thank you. You got the gloves. Okay. You're gonna do it for two minutes and then we're going to rinse the, the water. We're gonna rinse the bleach from the container and then we, the next step is gonna use Prime. No, actually Paragar and then Prime. All right guys, these are the instructions. Can you please move the phone out of the way for one second? All right. Thank you, my love. Seven steps. All right. Are we getting close? 15 more seconds. All right, awesome. And guys, remember, like my videos, comment, subscribe, and hopefully I will continue making more videos. All right, we're done. We're done? Yeah. Thank you so much. I'm going to give another 10 seconds, just in case. I'd rather be safe or safe. All right, my assistant, can you please rinse the, wa the water from the Clorox and the bleach? All right, thank you so much. Now, guys... We're going to use this for the next step. 
and we're going to add paragon and we're going to dip it for about two, two to three minutes. Let me give it up close. Paragon from Seacam, great product. I really recommend it to have it for emergencies. And guys, this will not stain your aquarium. It's pretty good. And it's and it's plant safe. So I'll give you that. Now, can you please rinse dip throw away all the water and then rinse it? Yeah, there you go, thank you. These are the description. We're gonna use five mils for ten gallons. It says to dip it for one one hour dip but we definitely not going to use that we're going to go for two minutes we're going to use five mils for two three minutes all right guys let me shake it up and guys don't be scared this product is actually bluish color so don't be worried about it it's plant safe a little more let me show you the color it's a bluish color you're gonna dip it. Actually, let me put a little tiny more. Or a little tiny more. I didn't I didn't use it all the way. Guys, one thing. This can definitely stain your wood, your glass, anything. If you drop it when it's concentrated. So just make sure you cover it, it won't spill. So it won't spill. My assistant, are you ready? Yeah, I am. Alright, here she comes. Yeah, just put it right there. Thank you. All right. Can you start the clock again? Another two minutes. Thank you. Okay. Let me give you guys a closer look. These are the plants. They're completely emerged in my glass container alright alright guys the next step is going to be the prime looking good guys guys if you have any questions please write on the comment and I'll do my best to answer any of your questions. Thank you guys. All right. That's about a minute. Thank you. Thank you so much. And guys, the final step, all we gotta do is rinse the water. We're going to use Prime. You're gonna give, get a, give it a heavy dose. We're gonna use one cap fill just for another few minutes and then we are completely done. So now we know we don't have anything going into our display tank. We are 100% safe, well not 100%, almost about 95% there. All right, it's almost two minutes. And guys, keep following my videos. Uh, we're thinking of making a, a new video and maybe in a few minutes part two of this we're going to hopefully glue some plants all right guys two minutes thank you all right we are done this is the process we are going to rinse this and then we're going to use prime to remove any chemicals or any clorox in the plants all right, guys, thank you so much, and let's go YouTube. Thank you for watching. My assistant can take this back. We're going to rinse it, and we're going to add the prime. All right, YouTube, have a great day.